Hey guys, it's Lucas, otherwise known as Inky Sabi or Yukasabi, depending on where you know me from. Inky Sabi's my pen stuff, Yukasabi is my art stuff. Um, anyway, so this channel's been dormant for a little while, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it up and going again. I really want somewhere to put my thoughts on fountain pens and inks and all that kind of stuff. And I was going to do a blog, and then I thought, you know what, I'll just do YouTube videos, even if they're quite light, like quick format. I really want somewhere to kind of share my opinions and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be kind of posting bits and bobs, some nicer content, some kind of rougher content like this. I just thought, straight away the end's hot, I'll kind of, you know, get something out there like now. So yeah, pretty much I thought I'll just give it a go. So today I'm going to be having a look at this thing in here. So right, let's get to it. So. I thought I'd do a quick unboxing. This is a bit mucky since I've kind of been playing it for a little while. Um, I did this kind of up close camera POV so you can see it quite close. Obviously things look a bit weird because it's in wide angle. So pens may look different sizes but I'll do some normal shots as well so you can kind of get roughly a better size wise. But yeah so this is my first impressions slash unboxing of the new Anoto Scholar pen. Um, so. Feng reached out to me and offered to send me this before it's uh, actually released. So, yeah, it comes wrapped up in that nice paper you've just seen there. And then you get one of the Anoto boxes. It's smaller than the standard Anoto boxes, for reference. This is like a Stealth Rosso box, the, the full size, full whack Anoto. And this is the Scholar. So this, I wouldn't call it a budget pen because it's not, it's an entry level to an Oto in my opinion. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic, kind of spoiler alert. I love it, but anyway, I'll continue. So yeah, you've just got this nice kind of box, uh, cardboard that's been embossed and it's got foils on it, which is nice. And if I juggle this up, I'll just put this over here. So you've got, nice Anoto oh, business card there um, and then here's what's cool about these they actually come with a pen roll um, this is a leather pen roll and I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see this is really nicely done um, these cost a, a pretty penny on their own so for them to include them in something like this is fantastic um, and obviously it's nice for the extra storage and stuff so yeah you get this nice pen roll and this one's got like red stitching on it which is awesome it's really cool um, but yeah so in here is your scholar it's like I say it's definitely a entry level to a noto it's not an entry level pen it's far from that it's awesome but it's just entry level into an auto because an auto's can be very expensive but this is a lot more reasonable it's not cheap pen, but it's reasonable so if you open up your leather pen roll a quick look at that it's really nice um obviously the glossy box which i've got over here um it's cool but this is a bit more practical if you're only going to be carrying around one pen it's quite nice um but yeah inside you get this red uh, this is a velvet sleeve, I believe. Same again. It's got this is the same as the one in the in the version. My, I mean, my Stealth Rosso was five hundred pounds plus. So to get this on a pen that's like a quarter of the price is really nice. Um, and Oto's attention to detail is something which makes me just absolutely love their pens uh, and everything they do with them. So if I just squeeze this out, we get to the pen. So this is the Anoto Scholar. Um, I'll kind of just zoom in here so you can have a better look at it. There we go. So this is the Anoto Scholar. Um, mine's a little bit grubby. It's a little bit mucky. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's pretty standard. I'd say it's quite uh, like a mid-sized pen. It is smaller than the standard line Anotos that we come to know, but this is a new model. Um, it's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit uh, lighter. It's not as like, it's not got as crazy of attention to detail, but to fit this amount of attention to detail in a pen that I paid about £129 for this. Um, it's yet to be confirmed how much these are going to be at retail, but at the minute unreleased that's how much I paid for it just to be transparent. So 
yeah, let's go over some kind of features of the pen. So obviously this is a black acrylic body. Um, the acrylic is apparently from Italy. Um, I really like it. It's nice. It doesn't feel cheap in my opinion anyway. Um, I heard that the red one can be a little bit see-through, but I don't know. Um, the black one is like really, really nice. It's clean um, and it's classy. So if you flip over to the top, you'll see you've got the standard Anoto cap. Um, this is a kind of watered down version because this is, uh, I believe it's stainless steel or plated brass. Um, whereas obviously Anoto are known for having everything sterling silver uh, on their pens. So this is um, steel. Um, so some of the details, just kind of zoom in here a little bit. Some of the details are a little bit more kind of watered down, but honestly, if you compare it side by side, which I'm going to do in a second, by the way, if you compare it side by side, it's actually like not far off at all. In my opinion, the higher end models will have a much finer, closer attention to detail, which if that's what you want, go for the full whack. But the attention to detail in this is great. Um, and I'll explain why it's awesome. So, it unscrews um, very quickly. It's not like a, a really like loads of thread, but the threads are lovely. Sometimes in cheaper models, you get kind of like cheap threads and they feel rubbish. These threads feel as nice as the ones on my Anoto that's 500 pounds plus, which to get on a entry level pen is great. Like it's really, really solid attention to detail. Um, and personally, I think this pen has an awful lot of value for the money uh, that they ask for it. Um, obviously, I don't know how much it will be retail, but yeah, this thing's classy. All right, so, I'll zoom in a little bit. So, once you've uncapped it, you are greeted with this lovely Anoto number no. 7 uh, steel nib. This is their standard steel nib. It's plated um, and it tuned absolutely perfectly an auto absolutely nail all of the nibs i i have an 18 carat on my uh, stealth rosso and honestly the steel nib is like 90 percent 95 percent of the way there to the quality of an 18 carat nib which is insane um the value that you're getting in terms of how good this nib is out of the box is crazy um, I've dealt with a lot of nibs that are like, eh, you know, like it, it's a nice pen, like it works. But this nib's so nice to use, it's absolutely lovely. So, I'll go over a bit more about that in a sec. But the cap itself, um, weight wise, it's quite nice. Um, I believe they have um, a little brass weight in there, and they have the same in the body as well, uh, to give it a little bit more weight, which is nice. Size wise, for me this is a medium size pen, I'll do some um, size comparisons at the end so you can kind of see roughly where it is, but it's like, to me it's medium, um, the regular Renoto I'd say is on the larger side, it's not oversized but it's quite large, this is more medium, um, it's nice, um, it's really cool, weight wise, it's, it's like a light to medium in my opinion anyway, um, I've not weighed it and there's actually nothing about on, online about the weight yet so far because it is unreleased but it's it's a nice weight. I'll do a proper review at some point but these are just my first impressions from having a day with it. But yeah you can see how nice the acrylic is, it's polished so well, they've got these bits of grubby dust and stuff that you'll see because I'm filming at night but uh, it's really sleek. It feels great, um, it doesn't feel cheap at all, it's brilliant. So then when you come to the back. The threads on this body are awesome. It feels it like it feels identical to the one on my really expensive Renoto. <laughs> like the threads are the same. Um, it's brilliant. They're the same. Um, you've got the Renoto branded converter in the back. That's a lovely touch. They didn't have to do that, but they have done. And mine's inked with um, Hiroshizuku uh, Takisumi at the minute, the, the black from Pilot Hiroshizuku. 
and it's absolutely wonderful. So yeah, size wise, you're looking kind of medium size um, weight. I'd go for light to medium uh, end of the scale. Um, the finishing attention to detail and the threading, it's all done really, really well. And the nib is ace. Um, I'll show you that in action just in a sec. But yeah, those are some of my first impressions. So, just do a quick writing sample for you. So this is the Inutu score. Um, and it's silver. Black trim. My writing is going to be crap because of the angle that I'm filming. So it's a bit weird. I can't really see. But the nib is lovely. Uh, it's super well tuned. Um, I can't really write at my normal writing angle here. I kind of write weird, I'll write like over here. I'm a bit strange. But yeah, long story short, this nib is ace. Um, it's like perfect. Um, you're not going to find a nib like this uh, normally on a steel pen. It really is something else. So in terms of writing, like 10 out of 10, it's brilliant. Um, to the point where I don't think I'd buy a gold nib from an Oto again. Uh, it's just it's just that good. So I'll compare some of the details on this one to the full size uh, Anoto. So yeah, so here I have my two Anotos. Um, this one is the Stealth Rosso. Uh, all over my fingers. This is a Stealth Rosso from Izod's uh, collabing with an Oto. Uh, mine's number 21 out of 50. Um, I'll just wait for that to focus in. Uh, there you go. So this is a red acrylic. Oh, sure. Hang on. This is a red acrylic, um, and then it's all sterling silver trim that's been oxidised. And the attention to detail on this thing is absolutely crazy. It's it's just spotless. That's the only way to describe it. Um, I've never seen anything like this on a pen. It's absolutely stunning. And honestly, the feel, I mean, this is the weighted option, but the feel is quite similar. Um, this is the upgraded nib, but the feel's quite similar. Size-wise, though, if I just zoom out a little bit, it's quite close. Um, you see? So it's got kind of like a cap on top of it. Um, everything else, though, is very similar sized, uh, body-wise. Just do a quick comparison. Like I say, this is just a first impression, just so I've actually made a video, but but yeah, it's like when you think this pen is 130 and this one is over 500 pounds, like damn. It for the money, like you can't you actually can't go wrong, honestly. Like, I'm seriously impressed by this pen. And it's the kind of thing that I'd collect in multiple colours, just because the quality is that is it's just there. Um, Weight-wise, this is a weighted. I bought the weighted upgrade for this. Weight-wise, this is a little bit lighter, but not by much. Um, and size-wise, obviously, it's a little bit small. Nib-wise, it's very close. Um, I'll show you a writing sample so, in a sec. On the top, you can see the 18 karat nib, and on the bottom, you can see the steel one. For, for size difference in nib from an 18k to a normal steel, it's very, very close. The nibs are about the same in terms of wetness. Smoothness to 18k cuts it a little bit more, but the steel nib is so good. It's really, really good. Like You're not going to see any difference um, in terms of like how it writes. Well, visually anyway. Um, but yeah, these steel nibs are Flipping amazing. They're so good. Um, I'd really, really recommend them. They're, they're absolutely exceptional to use. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll do a few size comparisons now with some other pens that you may know and love, so you can kind of judge a bit better how big it is. So, yeah, here's a little size comparison for you. So, you can see on the left, we've got the M600 Red Stripe by Pelican, the Twisby Eco, the Lamy 2000. We've got the Inoto Scholar, the Narwhal Original, that's the Peter Draws edition, and then the regular Inoto. But you can see, it's like a very mid-sized pen. It's very close to the Lamy 2000 and the Pelican M600 in terms of size. Um, you're not actually going to see... You can see, actually, Inoto's a little bit bigger. Um, 
it's a little bit more girthy definitely more more of a girthy section than the 600 but yeah overall this is a great like mid-size pen um, a little bit weightier than an m600 uh, a little bit weightier same or actually the same as about a longer 2000 um, similar weight to an Arwal um, and that was a little bit bigger but yeah basically it's just it's a fantastic like mid-size pen it's brilliant um, so, so yeah some kind of quick closing thoughts this video has probably been very rambly I just thought you know what suck it I'm just gonna make a video because this pen has actually inspired me to just make a video which I've not made one in like god it must be over a year at this point um, <laughs> a lot's gone down since then but yeah this pen's really just kind of captured me uh, I'm, I'm seriously impressed um, so yeah it's the quality of packaging and it the main obviously is a really high quality pen the body feels great some people said it feels a little bit plasticky I highly disagree with that I don't think so at all the black version anyway is so solid it's so solid the threads are very smooth the trims really nice it's obviously not going to be as crisp as the sterling silver just because it's got that extra attention to detail some people have said that the cat band writing's a little bit distracting to them i don't think so at all um, i like it it separates it out from the others because obviously you have the you either have a solid ring or three bands and um, that's how you know an, an auto normally but this one's a little bit different it's kind of almost like a how sailor do the end of their cat bands um, the main attraction here that you're getting for your money is that nib. That nib is absolute, it's just godly. It's <laughs> like, it's a bit crazy, but it's just a godly nib. Like that's probably the best steel nib I've ever used. Um, it has seriously impressed me at what's available for the money now, thanks to an auto. Um, so yeah, I, here's some bold statement for you, but I actually think this pen in terms of writing experience is 95% of the way there to the full size, full Wakanoto. You get in, it feels like my Stealth Rosso, it feels like I'm writing with that. Like it's the same kind of writing experience and you're getting the same kind of writing experience for a quarter of the price. Like the nib, the nib's very close to, if not as, as good. The finishing's the only area where it's just watered down a little bit because obviously it's not sterling silver it's not going to have that same kind of crispness not the, obviously the quality of the materials but it's still so high quality but in terms of writing performance it's it's so there and just the whole premium package to feel this is going to be a very 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 strong contender on the market when it comes out i can tell you now this with a few different body colors a few different trim options that kind of thing this will do so well you get in the same quality as a 500 pound pen near enough for a quarter of the price it's not it's so good um i couldn't recommend this enough i've been picking up a few of these in different nib sizes different bodies they're all absolutely great so yeah that's pretty much the end of my little uh, first impressions i hope you liked it so um yeah catch you later